Did you know 10 body squats every 45 minutes crushed a 30-minute walk for blood sugar control? Well, not exactly. There's more to this study. Let's dig into the fine print. Which reminds me, since when has my Bath & Body Works credit card been at 36%? In a recent study, overweight men had their glucose continually monitored for eight and a half hours under four different occasions. One, they just sat the entire time. Two, they did a single 30-minute walk during the eight and a half hours. Three, they walked for three minutes every 45 minutes. And four, they did 10 body weight squats every 45 minutes. What did they find? Intermittent squats and intermittent walking both lowered blood sugar levels more than 30 minutes of walking. Glucose levels dropped from 10.2 to 7.9 with either type of intermittent activity. The magic, not the muscle group, walks fire up the quadriceps, squats hit the glutes. Both worked. And also not the type of exercise, but the intensity and frequency of muscle contraction. Transitioning once from rest to exercise before continuous exercise doesn't seem to regulate glucose levels as well as repeatedly transitioning from rest to exercise with intermittent activity. But what some videos miss is that the 30 minutes of walking also lowered glucose levels, just not as much. It's not squats versus walking. It's don't sit still for too long. In addition to your usual workout, level up your fitness or level off your glucose with three minutes minutes of movement every hour throughout the day, which conveniently you can do while you're on hold with the credit card company. But you can never have too many candles. Like and share if you sit for work, and follow for more science-based facts you can actually use. As always, matches come from peer-reviewed research.